today we are going to be discussing the theater curtain and drape system. The purpose of most theater drapes and stage curtains are to mask the backstage from the audience. The backstage area holds actors, stage crew, technicians, and even props. Each drape or curtain moves in a specific way, if it even moves at all, to serve a specific purpose beyond simply masking. Drapes are hung by the batten system above the stage that is part of the fly system. They can be flown in or out depending on what is needed at the time. For the purpose of this video, Michelle, Taylor, Maddie, Isabella, and I will be going more in depth on the different types of drapes and curtains and their purposes. Tabs are drapes that are hung perpendicular to the proscenium and at the sides. They're used to completely mask the wings and they run up to downstage. Next we have the show drop. This is a large unframed material suspended from a batten. It is usually weighted by a batten, which is a chain at the bottom, painted or plain. So here's an example of a show drop where here is the curtain on the sides and the show drop is this background of the golden staircase and all these other features of the show drop. The grand drape is known to be the main curtain of the proscenium stage. Its purpose is to hide the stage from the audience during the beginning, intermission, and end of a performance. It goes by many names such as the main house and front curtain as well as the main house and front drape. There are various types of grand drapes, including the Austrian drape and the traveler curtain. The traveler curtain moves horizontally across the stage to meet at the center. We know the Austrian curtain, also known as the waterfall, contour, and guillotine curtain, opens and closes vertically. The fire curtain is used to provide a barrier between the stage and the auditorium in case of a fire. It helps to prevent heat, smoke, and flames of a fire on stage from directly affecting the audience so that the audience We'll have enough time to evacuate. Tormentors or torms are vertical masking drapes that hang on either side of the teaser. In a traditional theater, the pair of tormentors should be mounted just upstage of the grand drape and on the same plane as the teaser. Various mounting methods can be used, but typically it is attached to a pipe which is then mounted to a traveler track. This track will allow the torms to be drawn on stage to reduce the proscenium opening and fit the current scene. A teaser is a horizontal drape across the stage designed to hide the first electric. When the grand drape rises and you see a small drape running across the top of the stage, hiding that first row of lights, that is the teaser. It is a black drape typically or a dark color, as it is not meant to draw attention. The teaser can be lowered into position to set the stage height as required by the current scene. As you go more upstage, you see more drapes similar to the teaser and tormentors. The one above is called the border and hanging from either side are the legs. The difference between the border and legs and the torms and teasers is basically slim to none, other than one is downstage and the rest are upstage. Also, the torms and teasers could be painted to match the rest of the set and put in front of the grand drape, but then it's called something else, a false precip. The theater fire guidelines are that the codes require flame retardant set materials upstage of the fire curtain and non-combustible downstage of the curtain. They need to be treated curtain so they're fire resistant. No object may be placed as to obstruct the fire curtain. The fire curtain path is approximately eight feet from the plaster wall upstage. Any larger or fixed scenery elements that cross the curtain line must make provision for the proper action of the fire curtain, such as a breakaway section. Any cloth used on stage must be flame retardant. Muslin, velour, scrim, or like should be bought from a reputable theater supplier and specified as flame retardant. One big issue is that the lighting gets too close to the cloth and causes a fire. And the last one, paper falls are a huge fire hazard and should be avoided as much as possible. 